this is Gilbert Gottfried, and this is I'm here with my co-host Frank Santo Padre. And this is Gilbert and Frank's amazing colossal obsession. It sure as shit is. Yeah. Now. Oh, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's something a little strange, Mr. Gottfried, yes. a little different. People say to us, uh, this is the kind of uh, feedback that I get on social media, when are you guys going to do a music episode? Oh, yes. We've never done a music episode other than, you know, the musical stylings of Gilbert Gottfried, uh, yes. you singing, ready to take a chance again. So I found some interesting trivia, and I posted this on Facebook. Today, in 1969, the pop song, in the year 2525. Oh, in the year 2525. That's the one. If we're still alive. That's the one yes. by Zager and Evans. Ah. The immortal Zager I've and Evans. i so many of their albums. <laughs> yes, yeah. right. the there you go. That's the one. It's got like a mariachi. In yeah, it does. Of... <laughs> that, that becomes very big in the future, mariachi band. <laughs> Thank you, Frankie. For the first time, mariachi is really appreciated. It's a very strange song, and yeah. I posted it on Facebook, and I got dozens of responses, and I thought, okay, so this is a good idea for mini episodes. Yes. One Hit Wonders. Oh, perfect. They certainly qualify. Yeah, Zager and Evans. I tell you, uh, doing the research on One Hit Wonders. First of all, there's a terrific book by a guy named uh, Wayne Jancic called uh, the Billboard Book of One Hit Wonders that I suggest that I did some research <laughs> in. It's great. And I thought, well, where do I go? Um, the '60s. Not too. I didn't want to start with songs that you and I didn't know. Yeah. So I I went to Wikipedia and they've got them listed by year. So I figured oh. 66 okay. was a good place to start. I don't know when you started listening to the radio. Yeah. But here's a couple that I found. And we'll do we'll do some 60s and then maybe some 70s. These are, these are some I found. Flowers on the Wall by the Statler Brothers. Oh! Do, do you remember this oh, one? Oh, wait. It became uh, a standard. What? Oh, counting flowers on the wall. It don't bother me That's at it. all. Aaron, you're concerned about my That's business. That's it. That's that became a big song. Yeah, uh, peaked at number four. The only time the Statler Brothers apparently made the uh, yeah, smoking cigarettes and watching, watching Captain, Captain Boom Kangaroo. Kangaroo and don't tell me <laughs> there's nothing to do. See, Paul, I told you we do a music episode. He, any excuse, how, he'll start singing. How did I find myself in this room with I you two guys? I don't know. I don't know. Bad judgment. Here's another great one from February of uh, the Statler Brothers was uh, January of '66. Here's another one from February February of '66. The Men in My Little Girl's Life. Mike Douglas. Oh, this I gotta hear. You know this? Yes. Yes. When I once the I hear. The men in my little girl's life. The men in my little girl's. <laughs> Do you know this song, life. Daddy? There's a boy outside. He wants to marry me. You don't remember this? It's got a spoken word component. This sounds like a a pedophile song. There's a boy outside. His name is Rod. He wants to play in our band. He he talked to us from his van. He'd say, I'm looking for my lost puppy. Can you climb in here and we'll go searching together? That's shameful. Uh, did you know that Mike Douglas, famous uh, daytime yes, talk show yes. host, did you know he charted on the Billboard charts? Wow. There you go. Okay, here's one we okay. all know. Yes. This hit number 35 by your favorite composer, Neil Hefty. Oh, yes. Neil Hefty, the odd couple. You bet. Uh, how to murder your wife. Yep. Batman. That's what this is. Frankie. Oh, oh Batman perfect. Theme. Yeah. Peak date, March 12th, 1966. I guess that was his highest position. Um, yeah, we've talked about Neil Hefty on you know, this he show. He was also a big, big arranger for Count Basie. And Correct. Ray Herman. He was. Uh, Didn't big, he big also work guy. with Frank Sinatra? I, I wouldn't be surprised. I think he did. Yeah. Neil Hefty. We, who did we have on the show that knew Neil Hefty and told, us, and told us about him? Yeah, he was a... I yeah, he's one of my favorites. I think it was John Biner. I'm trying to remember. Somebody knew him. Here's a here's a good one. Dirty Water. 
by the Standells. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. It's a standard, like a bar <laughs> standard. Yes. yes. <laughs> Number 11. Now, if I've got this right, and we'll have Paul, our researcher, is in the booth with us. The reason I bring up the Standells, I'm pretty sure they were the guest star uh, rock band on the Munsters. Oh my! Do you God. remember the Munsters oh. episode where they rent the house out to the to the to the to the hippies and they come back? Oh yeah! And the and the Standells are playing "I Want to Hold Your Hand" and the smoke comes out of Grandpa's ears. <laughs> Does this mean anything to you? <laughs> Paul's gonna look that up. I think it was the Standells. I know I can make out the lyrics very clearly. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. He'll yes, the Standells. The Standells, the Standells appeared Standells. on the Munsters. That's right. Yeah. Far out Munster. And by the way, uh, Sinatra did record several albums with Neil Hefty. Oh, oh see? So the late, great Neil Hefty. Gilbert is all over Neil Hefty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I'm surprised he doesn't remember the Standells on um, on uh, the Munsters. Here's one for you, Gil, that I know you do I, know. I do remember you brought up Les Lester. Les Lesser. Oh, Les Lesser. Len Lesser. Yeah, Len Lesser was the guy who played George with Lon Chaney Jr., on the Munsters Very episode. good. That is correct. Well, we had, uh, you should explain it, we had Stuart Margolin on the show. Yeah. We were talking about Kelly's Heroes, which he was in. Here's a song I've actually heard you reference on the podcast. Yes. This is I'll by, sing it. by Napoleon the 14th. Frankie? Remember when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow and then the days you got worse and worse and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. And they're coming to take me away, ha ha. They're coming to take me away, he he ha ha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. Be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats because they're coming to take me away, ha ha. How do you know all the words to that song? I cooked your food, I cleaned your plate, and this is how you pay me back for all my kind unselfish loving work wow that's impressive and i heard when that that song was a hit on yeah. the radio 66 uh actual medical groups were complaining that was making fun of people with mental problems really yeah wow it was making fun of the insane anybody any of our listeners that know anything about the artist called napoleon the 14th uh, write us and post I, us. I think it eventually was taken off the air. Seriously? Because there were complaints about... <laughs> Political incorrectness. Yeah, complaints from crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I did not know that. I didn't know that. was <laughs> Jerry, Jerry that, Samuels. Jerry oh, Samuel. I think Samuels. that could be a Jew. <laughs> Tell us about... <laughs> It's a wild guess. He's uh, known by the stage name Napoleon the Fourteenth, American singer, songwriter, and record producer. He achieved one hit wonder status. There you go. Is he still with us, Jerry? Uh, we gotta yes, get he is. Seventy-eight years old. We gotta wow. call him. Yes. Now, yes, can you is. find out if they say anything about uh, the nutty uh, people taking him off the air? Let me see what I can find. Okay, we're we'll, we'll move on and come back to that. Here's okay. another one, Gil, that I know you know. Yes. From December third, uh, there's a the, this was its peak. So I don't know when it entered the charts, but uh, this was number one by the new vaudeville band, 1966. Wait. Vody do do, a vody do do, do do. Winchester Cathedral, you're bringing me down. That's it. I <laughs> used to new life when my baby left town. Now everyone knows just how much <laughs> that girl meant to me. You, she wouldn't have left if you started playing your song. Bum, 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 bum. Winchester Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, Paul. What right. can you tell us about the so, new vaudeville band? Well, I, let me catch up with uh, Napoleon XIV and uh -huh. the critics, the backlash. 
Uh, the record was uh, peaked at number three, then the next week was number five, and then in the following week fell to number 37 when record producers and radio programmers removed it from their playlists fearing an adverse reaction from people who might consider it to be ridiculing the mentally ill. How I about was that, right. Gilbert Gottfried? Especially in the New York market. This How was about I that. was right! <laughs> How about that, Gilbert Gottfried? I, Gilbert, uh, uh, people, the, the listeners will appreciate your defending the mentally ill yes. in the program. <laughs> well, that's his brethren. <laughs> yes. Frankie, did you dial any of these other ones up from 67? I'm 67? defending the nuts. <laughs> yeah. You name one, I'll tell you if I got it. Okay. Uh, Sunshine Girl uh, by Parade. We're, going, we're jumping to 67. We're just going to do 66 and 67 here. Don't got it today you don't got it how about uh how about the next one on the list i was kaiser bill's batman by whistling jack smith <laughs> didn't get that but i can play you i can play you the next one i've got he's got the next one. Oh, okay gilbert do you remember this one oh, from 67 by the f- oh my god tiny tim Yeah. I can't get my voice out high. And tiptoe through the tulips with me. That's it. You jumped on me. That's 68. Flowers will fade. Oh, us away, and if you get you in the garden, by the garden, I'll follow you and tiptoe through the tulip with me. Oh, that's disturbing. That's disturbing. I remember. Oh, that was 68, by the way. We jumped. I remember when he sang that to Dick Martin. Oh sure, on, on on laughing. Martin's laughing. On laughing. And 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 Peter Marshall, of course, told us that Dan Rowan was a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the purpose of this podcast yes. at the end of the day. Oh, and God. I think he said Dan Rowan <laughs> Dan Rowan liked to get shit on. Now cut yeah. that out. <laughs> Frankie, do you have this one from uh, to, from July of 1967 by the a group called the Fifth Estate? Oh, that one peaked at number really 11. Do you remember this? Oh yeah. Any memory of this one? Yeah, this one not so much. Okay. No, nothing about this. What can yeah. you tell us, Paul, about the Fifth Estate? The Fifth Estate. Let me. I'm on it. He's on it. Did you load the next one, Frankie? Here we go. You'll get it. Yeah, I know this one. She sits on the dock. Okay. <laughs> I don't know her name. She's a vicious Frank is actually dancing in I, his seat. I, I love this one. stuff. Here we go. Okay, I have Fifth Estate. Come on down to my boat. Oh, oh yes, yes, Come on yes. Down. yes. I recognize the hook. We That's all. Yeah. This is a, it's like a Beach Boys knockoff. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. What can you tell us about the Fifth Estate? Here's something you have to know about the Fifth Estate. Tell me. They were originally the D-Men. From Stanford, <laughs> Connecticut. See, that's something you have to know about. <laughs> you have wow. To know about. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's good stuff. Let, let me, uh, as we go through 66 and 67, and we'll do more of these on the next episode, but let me let me read you some of the names of these artists. Do any of these mean anything to you, Gilbert? Uh, the Lies by the Knickerbockers. Uh, they'll be opening for me next week. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what shape your stomach's in, by the T-Bones? Oh, they used to play that in a commercial. That's right. Yes. I think I know the one you like mean. Like it was either a diet, <clears throat> I think a diet commercial. How about, Alka -Seltzer how or about walking my cat named dog? That sounds like a Jim Stafford song yes, or something. Yes, it does. Uh, I Can't Grow Peaches <clears throat> on a Cherry Tree by Just Us. <laughs> 
These are real and, songs, and folks. They never had another hit after nope. that. Double oh, shot of my baby's love, of course, by the Swingin' Medallions. Ah. Uh, but some of the names of these bands are just fantastic. Black is Black by Los Bravos. Oh, yes, that was a yes. big one. Black is yeah, Black. I want my one. baby back. That's it through uh, through '66. And then just a couple of other things, and just on the subject of one-hit wonders, Paul pulled this page, and this was called, <clears throat> and then we'll move on to another episode. We'll just do this for now, 66 and 67. Uh, one-hit wonders from other media. These were, <laughs> how do you even describe this? Uh, artists <laughs> better known for talents other than pop vocals. Key, uh, Ed Burns made made the uh, the charts with Kooky Kooky Lend Me Your oh, Comb. Oh, yes, yes. In 1959. Here's a good one. Uh, Rick Dees and his cast of idiots, Disco Duck. Oh, yeah. 1976. We did Mike Douglas and the Men in My Little Girl's Life. Here's one I know is close to your heart. Lorne Green, Ringo. Ringo. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I were, that was one of those talking. Yes. It's a spoken <laughs> word. Here. Yes. Went to number one in 1964. Oh, wow. How about Richard Harris and MacArthur Park? Oh, Yes. 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 Spring was never waiting for a girl. It ran one step ahead <laughs> from the ground <laughs> that we this? walked. We, we do. <laughs> there it is. Written by the great Jimmy Webb. Who oh, Jimmy that's Webb, right. We're trying to get on the show, and hopefully he, he won't hear this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> great. Here's, here's two more. And we'll wrap it McCarthy's up. The contest park was <laughs> melting in the dark. All the sweet green icings flowing down. Someone left the cake out in the rain. Oh, my God. I don't think that I can take it. Yes. Because it took so long to bake it. And I'll never have that recipe again. Oh, no. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now, no. Rich, now, Richard Harris and Donna Summer are both spinning in their graves <laughs> simultaneously. And the last two, <clears throat> did you know that Jerry Lewis, your hero, made the charts with Rockabye, your yes. baby, with a Dixie Rock Melody? Rockabye, <laughs> my baby, with a Dixie Melody. <laughs> Oh my God! I can't top that. And the last one is is Vicky Lawrence and the night the lights went out in Georgia. Oh, that's right. In 1973. Was that made into a movie? It also? was indeed. Yes. It was made into a movie. Yeah. As was Take This Job and Shove It. Oh yes, made with into Barbara a movie. Eden. And, uh, I think Art Carney. Yeah, and John Fiedler, I think, was John- in that. <laughs> well, I can't top yeah. uh, the, that, that <laughs> MacArthur Park rendition. <laughs> Something came loose in the back of my, <laughs> my cerebellum. <laughs> Take us out, Frankie. Oh, here's, an, here's another oh. one. Steam. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Oh, this, that, that was funny. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Paul. And and this has been Gilbert and Frank's amazing colossal obsession. <laughs> we'll see you all in court. 